All right, guys, Anthony here, Super Service. Here we go again. Uh, just about everything that we're messing with, uh, it's, I don't know. Okay, I went to put, we got a full set of injectors here. They should snap on. They should snap on pretty good. When you, I, I use guide studs. Let's look over here. See, I use guide studs to put them on. Put guide studs on it, do that. I, I even use guide studs when we're taking it off. Off and on, use guide studs so these nipple cups stay good. Uh, these had to have been replaced. Okay. If I can wiggle it like that with just a little bit of pressure, there, I, I, I replace the O-rings. Uh, I use HAC diesel. Let's see, where are they at? Right there. Um, okay, so now we're looking at also, see that? GBR 10 to 16. With how these things popped on, they did not feel right. Because I went ahead and put this one on. I put this one on and granted, you know, I barely moved it before right here and they didn't have, I mean, I, I was real careful cause I can't, I don't think he had a hot no start, but with a fresh set of injectors, um, from what it's looking like right here, he probably put not only new O-rings, which I don't know about these O-rings. See the ones, I mean, I, color don't mean nothing. I know whatever it might not, but now there's, some kind of science behind it that I'm not smart enough to know about, but uh, these are the ones I use. Now I imagine these were probably, who knows, some kit, because they have been changed. And with how I popped that other oil rail on there, I took it back off. I, I put it on and it just, it just didn't feel right. It didn't feel not like I'm used to. So I took the damn thing back off and I was like, you know what, mm -mm, I'm not. So I need to, uh, I'll probably just go back in the boneyard and find a good set of uh, nipple cups, take them out of an oil rail. Hey, I, I had a couple of sets here somewhere, but I'm just, I, I'm not going with that. We're not, not with a full set of injectors with how this one, this one over here was moving like a mother. I didn't, I, it was not even an, an option and I didn't make a freaking video. I should have recorded it right off the bat, but uh, this one moved so bad it was not even an option to put it on the truck. I said, no, we're doing nipple cup O-rings. And then when I took them off, I figured, well, maybe they're worn out. But then I saw these. And then when I took the nipple cup out, I saw the engraving on it. Right there. GBR 10 to 16. So that, honestly, I mean, stuff like this. I mean, I've used Mark and Corey's uh, HAC diesels nipple cup nipple cups but uh, mainly that's I, I use those mainly on o3s but for this one i mean we just need to put some factory nipple cups back in it that and then make it so it snaps on to the injectors i want it to pop on and i mean it, i can't i know i can't explain how it feels but you just got to feel it. It's got to just go on. That's it. And when I put that one on, it did not feel like that. And yeah, so went in, took it back off. Heck with it. So just more videos. I mean, I figured I'd show it because I am going to go ahead and replace these. I'm probably going to go find a set of nipple cups too, and just put different nipple cups on it and go back to stock. Stock ones freaking work. And the only way the stock ones absolutely work all the time is if you use guide studs when you take the oil rails off and on. But he's got a full set of injectors here now. So there should be absolutely no reason to take these oil rails off for a long, long time. Uh, we did put a full set Ford Remans in it. And with the guide studs on it, you line it up and you get it close and then you snap it on and it pops. You kind of hear it. It's just a, mm, it goes on. So, yeah. Oh, so we're chiseling our way. Uh, Ted did decide to not use the headers so i guess all i had to do was make a video and show how off they are we are not going to use them so cool i feel a little better now i did go ahead and put uh, make note i think this is the first one i've ever bolted on i did go ahead and put it on now if this little hose right here leaks i don't know what to tell you i mean i hey i mean I make parts to eliminate that whole cluster mess of bull crap right there, that junk ass crap with that O-ring in there and whatever. 
but I mean I did put line the witness mark back up right here the witness mark where the clamp was but the witness marks a little far the end of the barb is about right at the end so it would have been nice to have pushed it further in but I kind of wanted to line it back up where it was so yeah I mean and then you know a little stuff I mean I guess maybe I could put it down like that that'll probably work but oh well maybe I right. so I just wanted to show those uh, we did go ahead and put I don't think you had a block heater I buy them from O'Reilly's I mean I think they're 30 bucks it's like $120 from Ford and go ahead and route it and route it along I just use zip tie because I, I don't think the Ford block heater cord is like five times better than the O'Reilly's one you know if it was I mean it has all of the hardware to push pin into the battery cable it does have that but yeah I mean it's a block heater you know the only time it's being used is when the engines when the truck's not being used so let's I mean I've had fairly good luck with these O'Reilly's ones but you know I mean if, if you decide Ted if you see this and you decide you do want a Ford one on it they're I think they're 130 bucks or something like that if you do want it I'll change it out no sweat but I mean that one I mean he lives in Texas I mean <laughs> <laughs> There's probably a reason why it never had a block heater cord on it because he never even used it But it'd be kind of nice to at least have it on there, you know So all right, I'm gonna go find me some nipple cups to put in there and replace the o-rings and I'm gonna Put it back so that when I snap this oil rail on it pops on so all right guys have a good day